All right. All right, all right, all right. It has been a minute since I have done a live stream. What is going on, man? How have you been? Nice to see you stop by. go back on the old grind thousand stages I am back what is going on my man how have you been bro Thousand kilometers still. Oh word. Might be impossible to get two K subs from one forty eight. Might be, but we're gonna try. We're gonna try. We're gonna keep doing some different stuff though. We ain't gonna do just trophy videos. We're gonna we're gonna pile in some other stuff with it. We're just gonna keep grinding at it. I've already got 20 videos already like processed. Well, I wouldn't say processed, but I've already got a few things already that I can make. Yeah, oh, I'm, I'm already gonna make that. I'm, I just, I've already downloaded the game, so I, I will make that. I will make that. That's, yeah. I don't know why I haven't done that. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely gonna do that. I might do those little speedrun chapter ones. I did them for Uncharted One. I need to make a playlist. Need to do those three, put them in a playlist. That might go viral. Ah, I don't know, man. That might be one of those like seven, eight hundred view things, man. I don't really know if it will will go viral. I I really thought that Red Dead might have might have caught off like three or four K. Really did. I thought that Red Dead video with the Wild Jolly Martians, my favorite character. I thought maybe it might took off, but it didn't. It, Ain't no big deal. But I definitely tried to do something a little different. I didn't want the 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 Gen 7 update one to go viral really, but I wanted it to get some views just because that's a really big problem with that game. The Gen 7 update video. Uh I mean I was kind of surprised, like, some of the videos that I've made, though, at times have done really well. I don't know how that Farming Simulator video got that many views already, but not even going to complain. 
We're just gonna keep at it, man, every day. I'll post another video. Probably post one later tonight. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'll post another one later tonight that I've got already made. But I've already got some stuff made already. Once I get some hardware, man, once I get like a decent laptop and some decent hardware, man, it's really going to change. The editing is really going to change. But we're going to keep at it. If I have any video ideas, I will tell you. Alright, yeah, sure, bro. Sure thing. And like I said, I, I love the health videos, but I definitely want to do a little bit of different stuff, too. Um... I already know those Heat 4 Challenge videos, I could, I could really make those and get through that pretty quick. That's only 20 videos and I can run through those really quickly. That's probably what I'm going to do, make Heat 4 Challenge videos since I did Heat 5 and I really like those games anyways, you just help people with that. I'm trying to think of anything else. Great or May. I didn't even know that was the name of that track. The Great or May. That was the name of this track. I didn't even know that. Or Ma. Yeah, I don't know. Or May. That's pretty stupid. Or Ma. Might be what it pronounced. Pronunciation for that. Old football. What's up, Nick? Big Daddy Nick, two one nine. Not much. Right. Dude, I wish Eternal would sh would stream, man. I know he's got videos he's got to make, man, but I miss his, I already miss that dude's live streams, bro. Is he normally supposed to stream today? I know, right? Selling your soul to WRC, dude. Oh, yeah, I'll be on this game for probably another couple weeks at least, dude. At least another couple weeks. Yeah, I know, he's doing some Pokemon stuff right now, though. Something about Pokemon. I don't know if you've seen his last video, but he's making some updates to the channel. Look, that Uncharted video, though, man, I will make it. I don't know when I'm going to post it, man, but it'll probably be here in the next week for sure. Nick, what did you think about my SpongeBob thumbnail? I don't know if you checked it out. thought it was pretty good for what it was. Try doing something a little different with it. It's pretty good, I thought. I 
I just don't understand how the is the SpongeBob thumbnail AI generated. It actually is, which is wild. I don't even know how that came out like that. It actually is. The Red Dead one was too. People didn't believe that. It, it was. That Red Dead one was AI generated too. Nick, there's no audio with it, man. I don't know why, but it cut the audio out. It cut the audio out for, uh, well, I, I cut the audio out for Life is Strange uh, True Colors. That video, I haven't posted that one yet. I had to cut the video out because it actually played like an actual rock song at the end of the game. Just, you know, don't want to get copyright. Yeah, dude, I don't know why I cut the audio out for SpongeBob. I really don't. I can't get the I can't get the audio for some reason, which really sucks. I couldn't get the audio for another game either, and I ended up just deleting the video because it didn't even make sense. I don't even know why. Only those two videos, though. I mean, I wanted to double check to make sure everything was still working on. Yeah, it really sucks, man. But I mean, it is what it is. I mean, That is what it is. Oh. This is gonna be such a crime, man. I went through the ball, starve himself. Oh no, I've already ate now. I ate like this afternoon. Oh meal, man. Ah, okay. No, this ain't hacking, dude. Trust me. Running this course at only this speed, this is not hacking. Hacking is running this course in like under two minutes. That's hacking. You run this course in under two minutes, you're flying, Brian. I don't care, man. Mac and cheese is good. They will call me crazy all they want. Just have a big, huge freaking pot of mac and cheese. I can. I'll be fine with that. Don't bother me one bit. A Volkswagen Polo falling into the river in Lego City. Into Lego City. What what is that supposed to mean, Mark? <laughs> what, what, what is that like just just random like a Volkswagen Polo goes into the river? What? <laughs> What are you talking about, man? <laughs> oh, shoot. I don't even get it. Like, what? <laughs> is there, like, supposed to be some meme, or is there something tied to that? I don't even... I'm sorry if I don't fucking get it, but I don't, I don't, I don't even know. Boy, here we go again. Very monotonous. I love this monotonous grind, man. Just constant, just running the same track. Over and over and over and over. I don't even get it. Like, fly it into the river. Oh, Maybe he's talking about the co-driver not shutting up. 
Don't you wish you could tell this guy to shut up though, for real? Like, you're just constantly just yelling. Take left, take right, sharp left, hairpin right. <laughs> the amount of times I've heard hairpin right, hairpin left. Left four, left right, left four, soft three, white three, or whatever. I don't even know what they say half the time, man. Left five, left five, right four. Holy crap, that was an insane jump. I don't know if anybody's seen that, but that was pretty wild. Just kept on going. Bro, I forgot that meme. See, what What are you talking about? Is it, so that's a meme that, the, that he was saying? Is that what he's talking about? That's a meme? I have no idea what that is. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, man. Like, I know a lot about memes, but I don't know about everything. WRC is poo. <laughs> oh, man, Derek. Like, just the grind. The absolute misery of this, man, is just so torture, dude. Do the same track over and over. Over and over and over and over and over. Yeah, it's a meme, but slightly edited. Hmm. Yeah, I don't even know. Like, what's the original meme? You might have to tell me the original meme. I might, I might know it. Nick, Nick might know it. Big Daddy Nick. I don't even know. It's actually a man has fallen into the river in Lego City. See, I don't even like, I've never even heard of that. I know, I, I guess I'm not, not in with the time. In with the times, I guess. I'm guessing it's like a video game meme or something? I don't even know. I'll tell you a trophy hunt meme that was pretty funny was uh, the Harry Potter uh, Daniel Radcliffe where he's like cracked out and he's like, hey bro, want some boosting? I don't know if old Brownies has seen that one. You need to tell D-Bon about that there, Brownies. Wild <laughs> racing crap. Wonky, ridiculous, cringe, I don't know. I'm trying to think of like some some like acronym for this dude. Some like monotonous acronym like why race why race crap? I don't know. Like why race this crap or I, I don't even know man. The only thing that bothers me is I want to hit start again, but I don't think it counts like each one if I keep hitting start again. So like I'm not gonna test that theory. <laughs> for a thousand stages I really am not gonna test that theory so we're just gonna <laughs> we're just gonna grind them out man I'm not gonna sit here and hit start again and like all the ones that I hit start again for don't count you know because there's some games where like if you hit restart 
like let's say you do a hundred wins on something and you hit restart the restarting and doing it again doesn't count it's you have to back out and go back in oh and I freaking jumped the start but somehow to get a penalty for that And why did WRC7 have to have, like, <laughs> I don't know, the same exact, uh, the same exact, uh, trophy list? Wow, are you joking me? What's that one meme with freaking, well it's not really a meme, but the, uh, is that on Spongebob there, Plankton? Someone ought to put you in a box floating down the river, Grandma. Should be really someone ought to put you in a Volkswagen Polo floating down the river, Grandpa. <laughs> Go through the lake over here. Oh my word. Oh, drive, drive into a lake. I guess you could do the trophy here, couldn't you? You just jump off into this thing. Have you watched the Fallout TV show? My brother has. I haven't checked it out, man. Uh, it's weird, man. I don't really watch much TV. I know that really sounds kind of crazy. Um, I'm a big wrestling fan, so I try to keep up with some of the, some of the, uh, WWE stuff from time to time, even though I don't watch it every week anymore. I still keep up with highlights, you know, with YouTube and stuff, and I still watch, I watch more of the AEW Dynamite stuff, but I haven't kept up with it probably in the last six to eight weeks, so I haven't really been keeping, keeping up with that. I've been keeping up more with WWE, surprisingly, you know rarely rarely even keep up with that between that and nascar keep up with the college sports from time to time yeah I, I really i don't watch many movies either but especially tv shows i mean i don't watch hardly any movies let alone even watch a tv show but my brother has definitely told me to check it out like three or four days ago but i have not I have not uh, checked it out, but I have heard about it. I have heard it's good. Um, so I might, I don't know, might get a little Netflix uh, membership just to kind of binge watch that for a little bit. I don't know. Maybe watch TV four times a month, maybe more. I mean, I, I keep the TV going just for like you know, wrestling or racing, but and other than that, if I didn't use it for sports, maybe like a little bit of news here and there, and uh, I don't know, like a little bit of news and then sports, I really don't, and wrestling, I mean, I don't really have much of a use for TV, but it, it, it's awesome to have when you need it, you know? I, I don't, I, I get a lot of people don't watch it and they think it's kind of unnecessary, but when you do need it, it's really good to have. I do still think cable is like 
good, man. Like, I, I don't know, man. I These people that, like, really are into this streaming and all into all this, like, satellite TV stuff, I don't know, man. I think it sucks. I think cable is way better, personally. I don't know. I, I just think it's much easier to use, and it's not... It's not so aggravating. Don't get me wrong, I do like Netflix and stuff like that. Like, I do think those, like, things need to be... need to be here. I don't know why I've become interested in Fallout and playing one of them. Even playing one of them. Well, I'll tell you right now, out of the ones that I recommend, I think New Vegas is by far the best game. Um, I think Fallout 4 is easier, personally, but I think the best experience is New Vegas. Like, if you're at, like if you're just wanting to platinum a Fallout game and you don't really care about story like that, you're just wanting to, you know, just play the game, kind of enjoy it for what it is, and get the plat, I would probably say 4, honestly. But if you're really just wanting to, like, listen to the story, pay attention to everything, I would definitely say New Vegas. For sure. It is going to be harder, but I would definitely say New Vegas. Um, I didn't even mention 3. I don't think 3 is really a bad game. Um, I just don't think it holds up very well anymore. Um, New Vegas has its problems. I do get where people are coming from, why they don't like New Vegas, because it has its really, really bad frame rate. But man, other than that, man, that's really all it lacks. And it's just such a shame that we haven't gotten a port for it on the PS4 or something and got better frame rate for it. Because man, I that game would work amazing on this console, dude. It really would. It really would, man. It's just, it really is such a shame. But yeah, that's, that's what I would recommend. Because really, Fallout 4 really, like, it's not one of those, like, old-school style RPGs, man. It's really more of, like, a shooter. Like, it's kind of got more of that, like, first-person shooter element to it. Whereas, like, New Vegas, you really have to rely on, like, bats and stuff like that. I know you probably don't really know what that is, but you will you will know once you do play that game, because you'll you'll figure out real quick that you just can't just aim down your sights on the Vegas and kill people a lot of times. You can with the really good weapons, but it's kind of kind of tough. But I haven't played Fallout 76, and I have not played Fallout Shelter. I do know Fallout 76 is pretty bad. What game... What are your favorite game franchises, I think is what that says. I don't know why that's like off to the right like that on my screen. I think that is what you said, right? What are your favorite game franchises? So I'm going to just go with that for right now. Uh, definitely Red Dead by far. Uh, I mean Fallout. Fallout, Red Dead, the Skyrim games I like. Uh, NASCAR, um, you say NBA 2K, but it fell off a cliff, uh, I'm trying to think, um, I mean, there's some, it is, is it crazy that I haven't beat Red Dead 2? No, not really, because one of my buddies beat that game in, like, a, the very first month it came out, and it took me, like, two years after the game released. After I bought it, pre-ordered it, everything. Got the steel book, everything, and didn't even play it. Just It just sat there for two years on the shelf. And finally, I, like, booted it up and played it. So, yeah, no, don't, don't feel bad about that. <laughs> Uh, I do that shit all the time, man. Red Dead 1 over Red Dead 2. Yeah, no, I agree, man. 
Red Dead 1, to me personally, in terms of story, it's better. I don't know, like, I, I think, I really do feel like the Red Dead 2 gets that, like, really, like, a shaft of, like, crap, man. And, like, yes, it definitely deserves its uh, flaws, because there are some pretty major flaws with some of the stuff in the game. But I, I do think people kind of just overlook some of the, like, core, core stuff they do in the story of that game. Like, there's some really, really good stuff on that game that, like, I don't even think the first game does, personally. Like, with the storytelling. Like, I don't know. They, they, Arthur Morgan does a really good job. But, yes, overall, the first game is better, in my opinion. But, I don't know. Like, it's one of those things, like, I can't, it's kind of like the Uncharted games, you know? Like, I don't think, I don't think there really is a bad, like, a bad Red Dead. Like, I don't think the Red Dead 2, like, sucks. The online sucks. Don't get me wrong. The online freaking sucks. It's just, and not, but not only does that online, in my opinion, kind of suck, it's just, it's disappointing. It's more so just really disappointing. Because we expected so much out of it, and it just, man... Like, why couldn't we buy log cabins in that game? Why couldn't we, like, have boats where we fished and we invited our friends to go out on the boat with us and fish on Red Dead? Why didn't we have that in the online? Could someone explain that to me? Exactly. Nobody can explain it to me. Because <laughs> it's just like... Like, the, that's two features that would have been so cool. I mean, yeah, don't get me wrong, I, I like the hunting, and I like, you know, how you can hunt with your friends, and, you know, there's kind of like, you know, stuff that you can find, like legendary stuff you can go out and find online, but it's like, man, I don't know, I ain't the same, dude, like, there's so much more they could have done with it, you know, it's almost like they kind of copy and paste, oh, we're going to do more horse racing, and we're going to do... Team Deathmatch, we're gonna do, I don't know, they just didn't add, they, they didn't have that, like, thing on the online that really, like, really got people, you know? But, Red Dead 2 has some good stuff, like, I really do, like, but it's in the single player, it's not in the multiplayer. But yeah, like, Red Dead 1, to me, is better. Not to say that I wouldn't play 2 again, honestly. Like, if they made, like, a... If they made, like, a PS5 port or something, I would probably do it again. Especially if they didn't have the online in it. Like, if they put the online back in on a port or something, I would be very disappointed with Rockstar. Because, like, people don't want to play that garbage again, man. Especially they don't want to do rank 50. Like, are you kidding me? It's like, I don't know, like the best way I can describe Red Dead 2's online, it's like, it's a huge, massive, like, online that had so much potential and it delivered nothing. It's like a, it's like an empty, beautiful world. <laughs> it's like, it's like it's a nice looking map, multiplayer map with so much stuff that you could probably do with it, but there's just no life in it. It's just dead. It's like if Red Dead was Fallout New Vegas. <laughs> you're just you're just traveling on a horse with no players online. You're just like, is anybody here today? Does anybody do anything? What is going on? But, yeah, enough ranting on, on all that, that's just, I'm kind of stuck to play Red Dead Revolver though later on, I'm going to wait though for a little bit, um, I think you asked a question, I don't even know what it was now, I'd have to look back after this.
But as I mentioned before, that Uncharted video, I will definitely, uh, I'll get that out for sure. I'll make it. It's not, not too, too hard. I don't mind doing that to help somebody out, man. And what I'll probably do is I'll probably just show the spot and then I'll play it again on crushing. Probably split the clip or something, try to edit it a little bit and make it to where you can kind of understand kind of what's going on. There's one thing I hate that a lot of guys, YouTube people do, man, is they just don't explain stuff. I don't know, man. I dumb stuff down. I dumb stuff down so so minuscule like i dumb it down to the like the really like really minuscule thing because i literally try to make it so easy for people that they really don't have to ask any questions because one thing i hate is like watching a guide and then i have to ask a question to myself because if you have to ask a question then like did the guide really help you like completely like it helped you a lot but did it help you completely you know and I, and I really try to pride myself a little bit on like making sure that I am giving you the best possible easiest like less stressful way to do something because <laughs> I try to think about like putting a new player in my shoes when I make those like videos like that, those helping videos. Like what, you know what I mean? Like if I'm a new player playing this game, you know, what do I do? You know, I try to put myself in that like environment when I make that video. Well, a video for helping somebody on how to do this or that. That's why I like start at the menu a lot of times in some of my videos and like go here, go here, click the X button. Yeah, it's like small creators do everything besides editing and big creators does everything. Does, uh, does good ed editing but doesn't do all the small minute details, yeah. Well, it takes time, man. To be fair, I mean... Editing takes time. It takes a lot of work. People don't. I wish. I wish a big content creator would make that video. Like editing takes a lot of time and takes a lot of effort. And it's not easy. You gotta really want to enjoy doing that type of stuff. Um, but yeah, and it's the same thing. Kind of like what you're saying, and like. You know, like the small minute details, it seems like I kind of try to do a little bit more. Like that one video that you were telling me about that dude, like he shouted out my video. Well, he probably shouted out my video because there were some small minute details that I put in the video that like helped him out. And like, imagine if that video wasn't up, he probably would have been screwed. I mean, I don't know. He probably would have figured it out eventually, you know? But that just saved him like 10, 10, 15 hours trying to figure out where those damn blueprints were. I knew as soon as I made that video, I was like, it's over. I'm going to have, I'm going to, uh, I didn't know how many views I was going to have on that video, but I was like, I, I bet you anything I'd get 800 views out of that. Just because nobody has the video. So if nobody has the video, who are they going to go to? Think of it as like a, uh, like a store. If one person only has is only selling hamburgers in your town, who are they going to go to? Well, bro, you. Because <laughs> there's nowhere else to go. You know, it's kind of... I kind of try to look at it like that, too. It's like... But to be honest, I just I just enjoy helping people with stuff like that, man. Because I know how frustrating it is to trophy hunt stuff and you don't know why it's like this you know like what's causing this why can I not get this but once I figured it out I just I laughed once I figured it out man I really did like I sat there got the trophy got the platinum just sat there and laughed because I was just like man 
this is like such a messed up like trophy like why is it so like aggravating why is it so aggravating like this like why couldn't they just like why couldn't they make a patch for like saying you know in the trophy description instead of equip 20 blueprints or find 20 blueprints or 40 blueprints or however many it was why couldn't they say find 40 blueprints across the map <laughs> instead of like just saying find 40 or buy 40 or whatever but yeah I mean it's just them small minor details man and some some big creators do a pretty good job with it at times but I do notice some small creators, content creators do that type of stuff. They do a lot of those little small minute details. I don't know, I just think of it as like, if I'm a very, like if I'm a brand new player and I have no idea what I am doing, I'm looking at it like that. Like how do I try to help a brand new player do this in the very simplistic, easiest way possible? Because that's what guides are supposed to be. In my opinion, that's what a guide is supposed to be. It's supposed to be the most painless thing possible. It's not supposed to be this beat around the bush type of type of thing. It's supposed to be the most painless thing. It makes it the easiest possible way for someone to to finish something. That's what a guide. To me, that's what a guide's supposed to be. And if you can't make it super easy or super painless for somebody, then there's no point of making it. There's no point of second guessing it. There's no, you know what I mean? There's just no point in making it. Because if you do that, then, and people don't even like the video, then what, why even bother, you know? At that point, it's pretty much almost wasting time at that, that expense, really, but. But yeah, no, dude, that, that's cool that you wanted a, like a, like kind of wanted a video for that Uncharted thing. I'm glad you mentioned it, man, because like, I didn't want to say I forgot about it, but it's one of those things where like it was in my mind, then I kind of, kind of did forget about it, then I remembered it, and then I forgot about it again. But there has been a lot going on, just life and shit too, just working and, and everything like that too, just a lot going on as well. Yeah, I've got, I'll definitely make that video. I'll probably make it either today or tomorrow because it's, yeah, it's something super simple I can do. Probably take me like a couple hours of that to make it, to, to do everything other than make the video, edit the video, put the thumbnail in. Yeah, I could probably make it all either today or tomorrow. I don't know if I could post it that quick, have it posted. Oh yeah, man, I've already got, how many more videos do I have made? One, two, three, four, five, maybe four now. I got four or five ready. Cause like if there's one day where I don't want to make videos, man, I've already got another video already ready. Oh yeah, like I've already, <laughs> yeah. I don't just make the video and then I post it. Like, nah, dude. Like, I, I have stuff already pre-made. It's already made, ready to go. I'll edit it up. That way, if there's a day where I don't want to edit and I don't feel like editing, well, I've already got something made, ready to go. Send it out. <laughs> like, today, I didn't edit three videos, but I've already, like, made three videos just today but I haven't edited it yet but I, I mean I could do that pretty easily or did I make four today you know what I actually made four today yeah, I think I made four today so you know there is another video that I I've made but I just haven't edited it 
I need to do that. I need to do that. It's on Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, believe it or not. Man, this grind is getting pretty ridiculous. Let me see what them, uh, see them statistics are at. 3.66.1.11. My god, dude. We still need 1,400 kilometers. 1,400 kilometers, dude. My god, we're going to be here forever. And just think, WRC7 is the same exact thing. That is like... I don't even know how to say. I don't even know, like... I don't even know how to, like, even comprehend that, man. I really don't. But how do you make a trophy list that's this grindy again the next the next year? That's actually insane. Dudes actually went to an insane insane asylum for this. Absolutely insane. Heavy rain, good. Ah, uh, yes, it's pretty solid, man. The 18 different endings are a little aggravating. I'm not gonna lie, but it's not too bad. The car thing is a little aggravating too. There's a, there's like a trophy tied to like a car. It's like a chase scene, and you have to do all the right button prompts, and then you gotta like tilt the remote to the left or right. And, like, you have to tilt it a certain way because if you don't tilt it, like, correctly, like, you can basically, like, hit the car. And it's pretty, like, how do I put this? It's pretty, uh, pretty egregious, like, how, like, spot on you have to be. Like, I did, no lie, I think I had to do, like, seven runs of it, or ten runs of it, to, like, finally get it like it was pretty egregious I'm not gonna lie well I think I've seen the mission it was some guy failing every button and dying for laughter yeah the best I just remember it's like a it's a scene you're playing a sh uh, not Sean what, what's the dude's name is it Sean? No, you're saving Sean. No, let's see. So Jason's the other kid. And you have Sean. I forget what that... I forget what the guy's name is, the dad. But he gets in, like, this car. And basically has to drive on oncoming traffic. It's the first, like, I guess, puzzle piece in the game or whatever. And, like... chase someone through a store or something no 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 no, not that one not the one where you're chasing someone through the store it's the uh it's the it's the it's the first like puzzle piece there where he the first piece of origami where he's like driving the car on oncoming traffic he's driving a vehicle on oncoming traffic and then like once you complete it you get like 
piece, a piece of the address or whatever, but the uh, there's like a part there where you can't you can't hit any vehicles at all. You can't like take a lick of damage. And there's a cop car that gets close to you, and there's the button prompt for tilting the controller to the right. Well, even though you're tilting the controller to the right, it doesn't register half the time. It just doesn't doesn't register a lot of the times. And like sometimes you'll tilt it a little too much, or a little not as much tilt as you need. So you really like have to be on that like fine line. It really is pretty egregious. And what's more egregious is if you do it right and then screw up everything else, you won't even get it anyways. So that's pretty aggravating. That's it, it's pretty aggravating. You'll see once you play the game. But I do know that part you're talking about going through the store and all that. That's kind of towards like the beginning of the game still, I think. Maybe, maybe like a quarter of the way through. This right here, I mean, it's that's about where that part's at, actually. I think the... Do you have Darksiders 2 Platinum? No, I'm pretty sure that's unobtainable, isn't it? You know, I wanted to play those games. They went on Plus, and I just never... Can't play everything, right? <laughs> I think that's unobtainable, though, isn't it? Darksiders 2? Yes, no. I don't know. I've heard it was, but maybe it's not. I've heard Darksiders 3 is not, but I've heard 2 is. It did interest me, though. I'm not going to lie. I was kind of interested to try that game one day, but I just never did. I love monotonous tasks of, you know, just <sighs> driving at Wales Rally <laughs> over and over. I love this. This this is just oh man. I never thought I would be in a Volkswagen Polo this long in my life. It doesn't say in the trophy guide that you can't get it. I'm not sure if you can or not, probably. I can't. It's something about PlayStation, like, I can read your comment, but I can't read, like, all of it, if that makes sense. Damn, seven people watching. Well, if seven people are watching, I just want to say, uh, <laughs> I'm just like, just I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I'm just like, uh, uh, nah, welcome, welcome people, welcome Welcome seven people. That's what it says on here. Welcome you seven, you seven people. Now six people. Wow, well, they didn't like that, did they? It's like, nah. Nah, football, we'll get him out of here. That dude doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> Dude's racing the same track, dude. Why is he racing the same track over and over and over? Oh, there goes five, five people now. Um, um, I feel like we can't take this. We cannot take football just like... Just being so monotonous. Alright, at least I drive. At least I'm driving in manual, dude. At least I'm not automatic. At least I'm not, you know... At least I'm not just holding the R2 button. I at least shift the gears. I just press a button to do it. I don't even actually shift... I don't even have a shifter, so... Oh, we got four people now. I was like, yeah, let's get him out of here now. Do you remember anything from the Monster Energy Supercross? The official video game was on PS Plus like 2020. I don't remember, but... I'll tell you what, I'll go on YouTube and look real quick on my phone. Just see what that whole comment's about. Because I can't read the whole thing. Um, 
let me look and see exactly but it was easy because i might get it so let me let me just tell you something right now about that game um the old man that was in here talking i don't know do you remember him the older guy that was in here talking with me i will i can make a couple videos for that if you want but i don't know do you remember the older gentleman yeah zed yeah well I, yeah it's actually yeah zed yeah yed or maybe you're saying yes um yeah so uh he on his youtube channel he made a video on that game and it was an xp farm for level 100 um yeah he made a, a xp farm for level 100 on that uh on his channel um i can give you his channel it's e-rock disco <laughs> e-rock uh eric it's e-r-o-c d-i-s-c-o D I yeah D I S C O and you'll see and you'll see a a picture of like a skull. He's got like about 160 subs or something. He made a video on that on the XP farm for that game. Um, I can make some videos for it. It is really easy. Um, the hardest part is going to be the 10 hole shots, um, just because it is all about timing those uh, those hole shots. Basically what it is, is like, so like, you know, I don't know if you've ever played those Supercross games, but basically, you know, when you come out of the gate, you know, there's like a gate and it drops, right? On those type of games. Like, it's like a ready, set, go thing. Well, you have to time it to get out of the gate first. But just because you get out of the gate first doesn't mean you technically get the whole shot. There's like a line, like about, I don't know probably about 10 seconds from the gate there's like a little white line and you'll see it you'll notice it there's like a little white line that you'll pass that's the whole shot that's what they call the whole shot and basically you just have to be first to that line essentially but it's kind of confusing because like if you don't know what a whole shot is you know you're not going to know what that is you know so you know honestly i could make a I could make a video for that if you really wanted to, man. But you definitely need to check out his channel for that, for the XP. Because he did a really good job with that. How does this game compare to with Dirt? Um, with Dirt 2? Um, I haven't played Dirt 5 or Dirt Rally or Dirt 4. So yeah, that's... I know, that sucks, don't I? I really don't have an answer for you on that, buddy. But... I will say I have played Dirt 2 way back in the day, and in my opinion, Dirt 2 is a little bit better. Now, I don't think these games are terrible, though. Um, I'm playing on PS5. So, well, it's a PS4 game, but I am playing it on the 5, so I am playing it on console, so I don't know if like you're on PC or what you're playing it on, but uh, or if you are even playing it, but... I personally think the old Dirt games are better, but this game, it doesn't suck. Like, I, I bought this game for $1.50 on the PlayStation Store, and this th this game doesn't suck. People were saying it was kind of crappy and bad. It, nah. I played way worse games for $1.50. So, I don't know. 5 out of 10, 6 out of 10. It's a solid game. It is, it is what it is. <laughs> It is it is your it is your rally racing game. This it is the final product. This is the final product. Um, and really, the only reason I'm probably not going to give it a seven is just because of the grind, like monotonous grind for no reason. So actually, I probably can't give it a six. I'd probably give it a five. I'd probably give it a six if it was, you know, not so monotonous grind. But yeah, to answer your question, um, the old Dirt games are better. I can't give you a, I can't give you any idea on Dirt Rally 2.0 or like Dirt 5 or Dirt 4 because I've never played those games, which is kind of unfortunate, right? But to answer your question the best I can, uh, I think the old Dirt games were better. But I don't know about the new Dirt games at all. Um, 
I would like to play Dirt Rally 2.0. I've heard that game is really hard to platinum, but I'm willing to give it a shot sometime. I don't know when, but one of these days. One of these days I'll do it. We don't know when, but one of these days. One of these unfortunate days. Oh man. I'm glad I'm talking, man, because this is like co driver. I swear. Can, can you turn this guy off? I don't even think you can. I really don't even think you can. Which is no big deal. I mean, this is a guy <laughs> playing Friday the 13th where. All you hear is Jason Mother is talking to you. Put the weapon down. <laughs> over and over and over and over. Or what was the other dialogue I think it said in that game? Sweet Jason, such a good little boy. Opinion on MX versus ATV Legends. I am going to play MX versus, MX versus ATV Legends sometime. I don't know when, but... Let me read the rest of that. I don't know when, but... But I have it downloaded. Okay, I'll just be honest with you, man. Um, one of my buddies, love him to death, man. He really helped me a lot with that game, with the collectibles and stuff. I absolutely hated that game. I'm just going to be honest with you. I hated it. I think it sucks. Um, maybe I shouldn't give it as much hate as I should, but man, compared to those old ones on the PS2, I mean, what a joke that game is. I don't know what it is with the driving and the handling on that game, but it is just, it's like the guys are just on the nitrous. It's like their bikes are on the nitrous. They have some turbo on those, and I can't go. I can't get past... 10th place without, you know, having to sweat like freaking, I don't know. I don't know who the best Supercross guy is or who the freaking, I don't even know. I can't even think. You can't think on that game because if you think, then you're trying too hard for that game and then you're back in 20th. I mean, I don't think that game's necessarily hard, but man... Uh, it's one of those games I feel like I don't I don't know if like you've ever felt like this when you trophy hunted man but don't you you ever have you ever have that game where like you feel like the game just punishes you at the beginning of the game like purse like just purposely it just punishes you for no reason and then eventually once you like you know plow your way through parts of it it just becomes so much easier like and it's not basically, but it's not based off of like you getting better. It's just the game naturally gets easier. That's the best way I can describe that game. It, it's like it naturally gets easier. Like the game actually purposely is hard at the beginning. And then they make it easier. I mean, maybe I just suck. I mean, that could be it, man. But And I just got better. But I, I don't think it is. I, I purposely think that that game naturally got easier. I hated every minute of it. But I really appreciate my bro, and he knows who he is, that helped me fucking get those collectibles done. And helped me, uh... And helped me kind of, like, give me some tips on some stuff here and there. Not a whole lot, but he, he gave me some pointers on some stuff. The cool thing about that game, though, I will say, um, if you do the collectibles, you can do it with somebody. So, like, you can, like, start up a... You can start up, like, a free roam, invite the person in, and you both can do the collectibles together. Very, very cool feature. So I will give the game that. That is a very cool feature. Um, that's really cool that they did that. So, like, you know, somebody could pull up the video and you both get the collectible at the same time. To me, that's that's awesome. To me, that's really cool. 
But I think you both have to pick it up, though. The collectibles. So, like, it ain't like one person runs over it and then it counts for both. You both have to get it. But it's still cool that you both can be there to, like, help each other figure out where stuff's at. So, yeah. That's my, that's my spill with that game. <sighs> yeah, I don't, I just don't know why I didn't like it. I really don't, but man, it just, that game did not click with me. Moto Cross or Monster Energy Supercross all day over that over that game. I haven't played those MXGP games, but I've heard they're terrible. I've heard they're garbage, so I don't even want to know. Currently playing it, I don't know what else to play at the moment. Uh, well, I would tell you anything. <laughs> I'm just, I've only messed with you, man. But. Good luck to you, man. Hey, if you can if you can plow your way through that game, man, that's that's awesome, dude. Like, props to you. Like, I I can't. I don't know what it was, man. I mean, I I obviously finished the game, but like normally I can just you know punish myself enough to like do the other stack, the PS5 stack, because it was on extra, you know, MX vs HD Legends. It was on extra, so I was like. You know, I'll do it, you know, the PS5 stack, you know, if I just, if I kind of like the PS4. And I hated every bit of it, man. I, I just hated every moment of it. I hated every moment of that game. And I will not go back to play that. <laughs> I just, I will not. Now, if someone needs help with collectibles or something, I might do something like that. Um, but possibly, but I mean, other than that... Nah, man. Like, you know what? I don't even have extra anymore, so I don't. I can't even do it anyway. So, no. Nah. Nah, I, I will. I will not go back to that game. <laughs> I just won't go back to it because that just. Oh man. Oh, I hated it. I don't know why. Maybe I'm giving that game a little too much hate, but come on, man. It's nowhere close to those PS2 games and PS3 games. Like nowhere near the game Reflex or Alive was or Untamed. Nowhere near those three games at all. I mean it's just it's crazy how bad those games fell off. I really I don't know. Yeah I don't know. That's cool that you're playing it though man. I think I even looked because I wanted to see like how many game owners it had. <laughs> oh, I don't even think I had 500 on one of the one of the versions, like PS5 or PS4. It's like <coughs> you're telling me on on a place on the PlayStation you can't even get 500 people to like buy a copy of this. You're joking me. That's that's crazy to me. Oh boy. Another round of this. Guess I'll go in here and check and see what my progress is at with this. I do appreciate though the people that are in here watching, even if they're not commenting. I do appreciate you guys stopping in, uh, take your time, see what's up. Well, as I say that, can't even drive. So that's nice. And I'm in the wall. I 
I'll tell you one thing. One thing about this game that I have liked once I figured out was definitely how to use the manual transmission. Figuring out when to shift, when not to shift. I'll tell you what, man, once you figure it out, it, I really enjoy using it. Gear and six gear. There we go. Another one down. another one monotonous of this is just wild. I swear. It's just fun. Bro, always let me know when you go live because the stream, because the streams make me what, fall asleep? <laughs> make me happy. I appreciate that, bro. Really do. cool that you enjoy watching, watching, taking time out of your day to watch it. Some people like this race, racing type of stuff, some people don't, man. But I just do it just because I enjoy it. I, I enjoy just playing the worst monotonous task over and over and over again and over again. And over again, and over again, and again, and again, and again, and again. And again. And again. And again. And I'm hitting the wall again. And again. And again. And again, and again, and again. Oh boy. You know what this just reminds me of doing the same track over and over? What is it on the damn Spongebob? Uh, are you finished with those errands? Uh, is, that the, is that the episode where it's just constant? Just are you finished with those errands? Finished with those errands? Are you finished with those errands? Errands, errands, errands? Are you finished with those errands? <laughs> oh, the monotonous of this is just like, that's just what it reminds me of, man. Are you finished with those errands? Oh my gosh. Another one down. Another 4K. Another 4 kilometers. Oh boy. 
I don't even know how to premiere my stuff, man. I was wanting to try to like do a premiere and set it to 15 minutes before this thing even starts, like a schedule thing. I man, this is this is why I, this is why I gotta learn this editing stuff, man. This this is just oh, beginner stuff is expert stuff to me. Remember, someone showed me or explained it to me how to do it, but yeah. I hit the freaking billboard. Uh, I mean, I sit there and do the math. What, 215, four races, that's 10 minutes a piece. Yeah. How, how long have I been on here? I don't know, do I have to play every career? The MX versus ATV and UTV? So I think you only have to do the bikes. You don't have to do the ATV stuff. Don't now don't correct don't uh don't quote me on that, but I do remember I did not have to do anything ATV wise. Not one thing ATV in that category. So start out with like the bikes. Like I think it's all the way over to the right tab. And I can't I can't help you with it because I I don't have extra anymore, so I think it's all the way over to the right tab, if I remember correctly. If that makes any sense. Like, when you pull up your, I guess, season or whatever, it's, like, all the way over, I think, or something like that. I can't remember. Back, oh, man. It's already freaking 6 o'clock. tell you what, I'm going to invite the, the old man in here. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to invite the old man in here for about an hour and then probably going to shut her down for, not today, but I'm going to shut it down for a couple of hours, grab something to eat, relax for a little bit, and then I know you might not be online, but then I'm going to go ahead and do another like two hour stream with this.
Yeah, the MX versus eight, the uh, Monster Energy Supercross man. There's a, a level 100 exploit, like Top Gun or E Rock Bisco. He he explains how to do it, how to do that level 100, how to grind a level 100 on there or whatever. Pretty easy though. The game is pretty easy. The 10 hole shots is really the hardest thing. I think there is some other online stuff like create a track and like rate somebody's track and like not only rate it but I think race like three different tracks that people have created. But all the online's still on there, so I mean you should be good. I definitely need to do three or four. I have four. I don't know why I don't just do it. Honestly, like I don't, I really don't know why I don't just do that game. Oh, there we go. Alright. Let me try to invite the older, older guy here. See if I can. Oh no, ninth place, bro. I don't know these maps. I oh no, bro. No, oh no, ninth place, bro. I hate these maps. I don't know what they are called, but they are in a small area and there is a lot of bumps. Yeah, like it's pretty brutal, man. I'm not gonna lie, but just keep sticking with it, man, because eventually you will start to like get better at it just naturally and uh. I'm not going to lie to you, like, it's going to be kind of rough at first. It was for me. Like, I just pushed my way through it, but yeah, it's not... That game's not a gimme. I will say that. Because I think it's one of those games where, like, you have to finish a certain spot and certain stuff. If that makes sense. You got to finish well in certain spots to advance. And then eventually, if you don't finish too well, then it'll just cap you off. It'll say, well, you have to, you have to be better here in order to advance to the next part of the story. It kind of works in that progression, if that makes sense. So you basically have to like finish in a certain spot. You don't always have to win every race. I, I just remember when I finished that game, I was like, literally like, thank God. Thank God that's over. And that's kind of sad because like those games used to be so good.
Oh boy, let me do this. Let's go. go again. lost it. See my comment. 
Which one? Are you talking about the one with the MX versus ATV races? Where you're in ninth place? I might not have seen it. I'll check here in a second. I'm talking about the one where you're in like ninth place. Well, I sent it a little bit before you started this race. I don't think you saw it since you didn't respond. Before you started this race. Before you started this race. I'll check it here in a second. Let me finish my... Uh, let me finish this real quick. Up here. That was actually a solid lap. Um, let me check here. Let's see. Yeah, you need fans to proceed in the career. I am a little late to the messages since I am playing races. No, you're good. No, you're good, man. Uh, yeah, you need fans to proceed in the career. Oh, okay. See, I didn't really think of that. Huh. You need fans to proceed, so... I'm guessing the better you do, the more fans you get. I don't know if replaying the same race over and over gets you more fans, would it? I wouldn't think it would. But, you know... You never know. Yeah, I, th I do think it's finishing better each time. Gets you a little bit more fans. I, th I do think you're onto something, though, about that. Thank you. 
Did the old man not join the party? No, not yet. Maybe asleep, honestly. <laughs> Sometimes we'll leave this game running, he'll be just crashed out, dude. Let me, uh. Let me go ahead and, uh. See if I can get him on here, chat. Just the monotonous of this is just whew, crazy, dude. It is just so crazy. Can can't you mute the co-driver in the audio settings in the game? I don't even know, man. I'm not even worried about it, man. It's just like noise at this point. But my God. <laughs> You would think, right?
I just hate that these races are too long. One race is like five to ten minutes. Yeah, it's pretty wild. I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty long. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, the plot's kind of. I don't know. I don't think it's like too terribly long once you kind of get in there and figure, kind of figure it out, but. Yeah, it's definitely just, man, I just hated the experience. I don't know why. Oh, my word. If you ever get PS Plus Extra Premium, I don't know which this game is on, make sure to check out the Pedestrian. It's a five minute, 100% completion game. I'll have to reread what you said, but I'll definitely, uh, I'll check that out. Only thing about extra man is I really would want it for like three months, but with extra it's just one of those things where it's like I gotta go in there and do those games, you know? It's just can't be playing nothing on my own like thing. There's just so much on that catalog. Just 
just think I'm doing MotoGP 17 after this. More racing. Street Outlaws the list after that. And then I'd have to look at the freaking booklet. Uh, what What is next? Oh yeah, let me look and see what that comment was about. Extra, something about PS Extra, and then... Make sure to check out the Pedestrian. It's a 5 minute 100% completion with a debug mode. You can get it on PS4 and PS5 version. I will definitely take a look at that. The Pedestrian. I will definitely take a look at that. I don't like cash grabs, but if they're going to be on Extra, and I'm paying the money for it, I might as well take advantage of it. But I will not purposely go out and buy those games. Also, Jack 2 has a debug mode, which you can get the platinum in 5 10 minutes with a guide. Jack 1 also does as well. Um, I've already done all three Jack games, PS3. Um, Jack 1, I actually did legit. Jack 2 and Jack 3. Um, Jack 2, I did some of it legit, and then I debugged the rest of it, and then Jack 3, I completely debugged the whole game on PS3. But I have played those games on PS3. Yeah, I think all three of them do, actually. They have, I think all three of them are on PS4. I know Jack 1 and 2 definitely is. So I would assume 3 as well. Make sure you get Jack 2 if you want to use the debug mode. Are they taking it off? Are they like undoing it or something? Is that what you're saying? Make sure to get Jack 2. Like I'm guessing they're taking it off or something? Off the store?
Oh, I guess you're just saying just make sure you get it. Yeah. I I got the PS3 ones, but they're disc. So, like, digital copies of them, I would probably have to buy them. And I just don't feel like buying it. No, no, no. Just saying it's very... Oh, yeah, definitely. No, it's definitely easy, quick plot. I've seen it. I've done seen the... Uh, I've done seen the little strap for it and everything. I've seen people debug it and everything. It's pretty crazy. Pretty nuts, if you ask me. Nice little cheese way to get a platinum. Just at that point, you're like just buying platinums. <laughs> just debug it, man. Why, why are we playing this? Just, just debug it. Just, just debug it. <laughs> Crazy. Why did that message come through? The Jack 2 Platinum? How quick it is? It's pretty quick. I will definitely check and see if it came through. No, it's very easy. Quick platinum was the last thing I got. Yeah, no, it definitely is. It's pretty, pretty damn easy, especially with like the debug feature. You just do it in five minutes. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, it's that's insane, dude. To platinum a game that that quick.
Well, sadly, I'm probably going to have to get off here, man. Um, I probably need to grab something to eat. I didn't realize how late it was already, and probably a nice little grab, need to at least grab something to eat. And uh, after that, I will definitely, I will definitely be back on. Yeah, I know, bro. I didn't realize it was already almost 7 o'clock Eastern time. But I will be back on probably in about two hours. Because I'm definitely going to stream again. Because it's been a while. Like, I normally stream, like, every two days. Right, yeah. No, I hear you on that, man. If you're not, if you're not on, um, don't worry, because I will definitely be on tomorrow. And I will probably be... Probably will be on a lot earlier because if I do get on tomorrow, it probably will only be for a two-hour deal. But I will definitely be on tomorrow for sure, definitely. But I definitely appreciate you stopping, man. For sure. It's just I did not realize how late it was, and I probably need to grab something to eat and chill out, and probably need to do a little bit of a little bit of some chores around the house, get everything kind of cleaned up for tomorrow. That way I don't have to do so much cleaning tomorrow and everything. Get everything situated. back because then it's Sunday and then Monday and then back to school I think is what you said right back to school right I feel you on that man I have clean underwear. <laughs> yep, yeah, gotta do that laundry, man. Gotta do that laundry. Get that laundry caught up. stream like one or two hours i'm gonna be on all right yeah for sure man uh i'll definitely uh, let you know i'll probably definitely try to uh schedule it from now on that way makes it a little easier for everyone to kind of figure out what time i'm streaming but yeah i'm gonna just call it here for right now and uh if i'm on later i will definitely uh let you know but I uh, appreciate you guys stopping by, and I will catch you guys later, man. Take it easy.